Hey beautiful Saggies, welcome to your end of Feb 2022, heading into March, love reading. I hope you're doing well. Based off the pre-shuffle, it looks like this could be a new connection that you are exploring. Both of you have real feelings, okay? So there's romantic feelings on both sides of this connection. However, there are a few little red flags in these cards. Number one, you have the disguise card. So this can suggest one of you in this connection, I think it's the other person, may be wearing a mask. It just means that there are aspects that are hidden. There are elements that aren't visible to the naked eye at the moment, okay? I feel like you consider this person as a potential life partner, someone who could offer you, you know, a long-term relationship, if not marriage. Um, it's a surprising connection. Like I feel like you went in into maybe the first couple of dates with a level of skepticism. You know, you didn't know if the two of you had enough in common, but there was attraction there. There was mutual attraction. But what I'm getting from this unexpected connection is that one or both of you have been pleasantly surprised by um, where this could go. You know, the, the, the potential here. Um, so we do have the potential for both of you to fall in love. However, um, we do have a third party here. So we do have interference. We're yet to establish what type of interference. Um, just give me a moment. We will, um, we will inquire about that. Spirit is saying you are worthy. So you need to work on your confidence. Um, and, you know, if in the event this person doesn't choose you. Just say they choose someone else. It has nothing to do with um, you not being good enough. Uh, it, you know, your worth doesn't depend on the other person. So just remember that. It could be that they were dealing with this third party prior to, to meeting you. Um, yeah, they do. I, I feel like your person is faced with a hard decision, okay? There's two paths that they must choose from. Um, they're both equally attractive, but for different reasons. So this person could be a little bit stuck in indecision. I feel like that they might need a little bit of time because I've got a card here that's reminding me of the hanged man. The need to kind of take a step back, really evaluate things, maybe get to know you a little bit more. Um, before taking any kind of leap of faith. We've got commitment issues. So clearly this person isn't ready to commit yet because a decision hasn't yet been made. It's got very much to do with, it's got a lot to do with this third party is what I'm picking up on. Okay, so let's dive deeper. So let's see who you're dealing with. Angels and Spirit, please show me who is, I've got the sun in the reverse. I just see this as, you know, the sun is yet to set, you know, things are yet to be revealed. Um, you know, the sun to me always represents new love, but at the moment it's kind of yet to culminate. It's yet to be established. It's kind of behind the cloud right now, <laughs> quite literally. Okay, so who is Sagittarius dealing with in love? Who is Sagittarius dealing with in love? Heading into March 2022, please. The Hermit in the reverse. I really do feel like this person isn't yet kind of ready to be transparent with you. They're still figuring things out, you know, what it is that they want. Interesting. They could be kind of doing their due diligence. Um, in order to make their decision a little bit easier. Maybe they're, you know, researching you, researching the other person. That's what I kind of see the Hermit in the reverse as being. Three of Pentacles. Okay, three energy, third party energy. But the Three of Pentacles talks about this person wanting to spend quality time with you to ascertain whether the two of you have enough in common. You know, this is positive, Three of Pentacles. They want to know if you're on the same page. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So I'm gonna to have to clarify that. Let's see, give me more about, give me more about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with, please. Heading into March, 2022. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. 
I just feel like um, this person isn't giving you too much. You know, this can be a little bit of breadcrumbing. It's because they're giving to someone else at the same time. So there's only so much uh, a person can do in terms of getting to know someone when they're seeing other people. So you're probably not getting prime dating real estate. This person probably isn't giving you, you know, the weekends, Saturday, Sunday. Um, they're probably trying to fit you into their busy schedule during the week. Let me know if that makes sense to you in the comments section. Tell me more about this person. Sagittarius is dealing with heading into March 2022. The High Priestess, yep, they are kind of keeping things secret, keeping things hidden, all right? You don't know the full story. Now, you may be dealing with um, a water sign, okay, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Knight of Wands. Yep, this person has attraction to you, towards you. You know, the, the Knight of Wands has passion, has desire, but he's a bit of a player. I don't feel like this person is... Um, in, intending to be a player it's just that they're yet to make a decision between you and another person that's just the reality of it it's not that they're treating you as an option as I said to you from the beginning I don't feel like this person expected to, to have a connection with you it kind of came out of nowhere by surprise so um, the Knight of Wands just means they're not offering you any consistency right now because under the circumstances all right, so please show me more about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Heading into March 2022, please. Got another page in the reverse. So this is kind of like a double whammy. So this person's um, just not like... A, maybe they're not following through. So you, you hear from them, they'll message you, but it's like... Their attention span is challenged it's because there's someone else so the page of wands is telling me that yes there's attraction towards you but um, this new connection is kind of being thwarted it's not like progressing just yet maybe it's not progressing at the pace you would like because there's other things happening behind the scenes so let's have a look at, at um, this person's feelings Show me how does this person feel towards Sagittarius heading into March 2022. How does this person feel towards Sagittarius? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they're not quite sure yet. They're juggling you and another person. Interesting that there's three little um, pixies or cherubs in this. Card, another indication of a third party situation. So what are this per what's this person's intentions towards Sagittarius? Three of Swords. Um, yeah, it's all over the cards. It's a third party situation. So let's see what's happening in the near future between you and this person. Yeah. So Spirit is saying, yes, you're in unknown territory. Yes, there's a lack of certainty in this connection. Yes, that you don't really hold the power here because it's the other person's need to make a decision. But Spirit is reminding you to trust your intuition. You see the owl in this card. Um, you're exactly where you need to be. All right, show me, please. What is the message for Sagittarius? What is the message for Sagittarius? In love, please. The message for Sagittarius. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. It's a delicate situation. Um, nothing is yet set in stone. So there is a need to tread thoughtfully, but I feel like that's your point of difference. I really do feel like... Um, your person of interest finds you to be more thoughtful compared to the other person that they're dealing with. You know, you, you're you more thoughtful of, about their needs, their interests. You put more thought into the activities that you, you do together. You, you make plans for dates. 
So that is an edge that you have above your, your competition. There's that narrow pathway again. You've got, pro you've got protected by angels. So just know that if this connection is meant to be, you know, the divine will protect this connection and not allow this um, third party to uh, interfere for much longer, okay? If that's any consolation. And I'm not making it up, it's what the card, the card said. Okay, so I'm drawn to this deck. Star-crossed lovers. So this is just um, that, you know, the current circumstances are working against you. It's just, you know, a case of bad timing. The two of you didn't expect to have this connection. Um, but doesn't mean that, you know, things aren't going to work out in your favor. Let's see. What does Sagittarius need to know in love? Heading into March 2022, please. Emotional affair. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to resist a connection with someone who's already involved. I do feel like this person was already dating someone else when you came along. It's not like they planned to kind of um, play anybody. Blast from the past. Okay, so I feel like this person is dealing with uh, someone that, you know, has been in and out. So I feel like, you know, you need to allow them to deal with it. Um, put the past to bed before they can pursue something with you. Um, you definitely need to work on your self-worth, your self-love. Remember, if this person isn't investing in you just yet, or this person, you know, is hasn't made a decision, it's got nothing to... Uh, blah. It's got nothing to do with you not being enough. So you must find happiness within yourself before you're able to find it with anyone else. And this card talks about indecision. It's the love-hate card, but it's just talking about an indecisive pattern in this relationship. It's the other person's indecision, okay? Everything that I've already said. So let's have a look at your advice. My advice, like, intuitively is for you to kind of... Um, emphasize that edge that you have over the other person continue to be you continue to come up with you know um, exciting activities to to solidify the connection that you have with this person um, and if that's not enough then it's the other person's loss right at least you had fun um, getting to know them you know if it's not meant to be it's not meant to be but that's definitely the edge that you have and you should exploit it 10, um, so that's the Wheel of Fortune. It's about um, allowing destiny to uh, take its course, go with the flow, okay? Um, let's see, what is, what is Sagittarius' advice in love, please? What is Sagi's advice in love heading into March 2022? Simply love. That's the Six of Cups. Um, it's the past definitely influencing this connection. But I just feel like it's um it's quite a pure connection that you have with this person. Interesting that the lovers is here in the reverse. That's the other person's need to make a decision between you and the other person. All right, let's see. What is Sagittarius's advice? Have open up so it's the four of pentacles allow your true self to shine forth allow this person to get to know the real you um, 
communicate because we have the ace of swords um you've got clarity of belief so this is about manifesting this connection by believing that um just with your belief if you, if you don't believe that something is possible then it's not possible so manifest you know this is kind of like the magician card but it's the ace of swords um you know you have the ability to transform this connection look at the butterfly okay um you've got just breathe the four of swords there's no need to rush there's no need to try and force things or put any pressure on anyone to make a decision just breathe and allow things to unfold that's what we got with the wheel of fortune card things are moving in your favor even if it doesn't feel like it so just breathe trust in the plan and you've got the tower so anything that's not meant to be is going to be um destroyed by spirit so if if this person is dealing with someone from their past or you know they're just they they're refusing to make a decision the divine will intervene and because you got the wheel of fortune in the upright position i feel like everything is going to unfold in your favor so there's nothing to fear of this tower there's nothing to, to fear of this tower okay it just means that um let the chips fall where they may the sacral chakra is coming up so i do really feel that there's a strong sexual chemistry between you and this person You are kind of feeling a little bit rejected by this person, but there's no need to because the Ace of Wands is here. I do feel like they desire you. Um, we, we've, also, we've got a, got a lot of desire. We have the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So lots of passion here. Um, this is you feeling alone. It's only because this person is kind of keeping you at arm's length. We have the Seven of Wands here. It's their resistance. It's their defensiveness because, you know, sevens are about being at a crossroads as well. You just kind of need to allow them to um, decide. You've got two aces here, which is really, really positive. Ace of Cups. Four of Wands is in the reverse. So this person isn't quite ready to, like, you know, go on this new path with you and you know um take things to the next level i feel like you just need to be a little bit more patient love why do you doubt it yes you are loved okay um i feel like you really do need to work on yourself love saggy let's see what your advice is what is sagittarius's advice in Heading into March 2022, please. What is Sagittarius's advice? There's that love card again. Manage your expectations. Okay. Um, stop living in your head. Open up to the present moment. Um, don't have expectations about what you think should be happening and when in this connection. You need to kind of relinquish control for the time being because as I keep saying, the person needs to make a decision, okay? Um, let's see. Kick fear, skepticism and cynicism to the curb. So, um, yeah. Just keep the faith, keep optimistic. What is the advice for Sagittarius in love? Please heading into March, 2022. Stay open-minded. Be a little bit, be a bit flexible. Okay. Don't let your insecurities get the best of you. This person might be triggering your insecurities, but um, spirit is asking you to just be yourself believe that you are worthy of receiving and let it happen organically okay um 
So don't be turning every date into an opportunity to, to move things forward. You know, you need to manage your expectations. Um, okay. When you're so like wanting this to kind of move forward, you may miss red flags. You may miss cues, cues that this person isn't quite ready to take things to the next level. All you can do is um, just continue getting to know the person and being your true self, working on your self-confidence. Avoid the word commitment. They're not there yet. Um, it's up to you. If, if you think this person is, is worth the wait or, you know, then continue seeing this person. Otherwise, move on. You've got make them feel that they'll lose you forever. Um, maybe you should continue to keep your options open, Sagittarius, until they're ready to make things exclusive because having others enter the competition for your heart is essential if you want to create a fear of loss in this person. Um, but remember, less is more, don't overdo it. Hope this reading was helpful, Saji. Don't forget to leave me comments. Um, I love it when you engage with my channel. You really help me. And I, I will see you guys next time. Bye.